This is a preview of my next keyboard build, which I've nicknamed the Nebuchadnezzar. As I was looking for the pieces for this board, it more and more started to feel kind of like a keyboard that I've seen in the Matrix. That became the overall inspiration for the build. That's why I've nicknamed it the Nebuchadnezzar, because if you look at the keyboards they use on the ship in the Matrix movies, it's gonna look kind of similar to that. Obviously not the same thing, there's a ton of differences, but that was my inspiration for this build. First up, we've got the Barrel Corn Keyboard Kit, F Rowless 1800 style keyboard. This is gonna be my first ever solder build. I um, haven't done that yet. All my other keyboards are hot swap, and uh, I'm pretty scared about it, especially with a build that requires full soldering for all of the components, including the uh, diodes and the uh, USB thing and um, all of this stuff. So that should be pretty interesting. I got a starter soldering kit off the internet and we're hoping for the best. If anything, it's gonna be a fun learning experience. For the keycaps, I went with this artifact black on white set that you can get on drop. I wanted something that would have some wear after a time, and you could kind of see the wear after I use it, and I think these are gonna be perfect for that. The whole build started with the switch, and you can tell from the color that this is maybe where I got my main inspiration from. The Kiwi switches from the Key Dot Company. So these are 67 gram tactile switches with a T1 stem. They're already lightly lubed, but I think because I'm going to be soldering these switches into the keyboard. I'm gonna open them up, strip that lube off, and apply my own. We've got the green housing and the black stem, which is super matrix style. The lube I plan on using is Tribiosis 3203, which I haven't tried yet, but I heard is pretty good for tactile switches. We've got some desk key switch films, which I've also never used before, but I've heard a lot of good things about, and I'm excited to use them, because if you've seen any of my videos in the past, you know that I like to make my keyboards quiet. They're supposed to help by eliminating the space between the top and bottom housing of a switch. There doesn't seem to be much rattle in between them right now, but there's definitely not gonna be any with the switch films in there. For the stabilizers, I went with black stabs, black stems, and this sort of like neon yellow housing because it's the closest I could find to green. And these little things came with the stabilizers as well. I'm not quite sure what they're for. If anybody knows, can you please let me know in the comments below. The autofocus is so good on faces with this camera that I have to cover my eyes if I want to not focus my face. So I think that's it. I'm pretty psyched for this build, especially because I'll be getting a lot of practice with soldering and it'll be my first ever build from the ground up, which is pretty sweet. I will be making a video about it when it's completed, when I actually have time to build it. Thanks for watching and you are great.